going on everybody? We're here outside Glisco HQ, unit four right here. You can see on the door behind me. I'm excited to show you guys what we got going on in this, uh, in this facility here and uh, do a little bit of a tour of our warehouse and just get some uh, close-ups of what we have going on behind the scenes. I hope you guys enjoy. Let's go ahead and get in there. This room right here is a hybrid room, a little bit of a lunch room, and it's also the design spot for our designers. So right over here, we got Jacob. He's working on a little bit something something. We set him up with, a, with two Prusa printers right here, just so he could get access to quick 3D prints and be able to do quick designs when he needs to. He's specifically designing a special guard for this mount, which is pretty awesome having someone that has the ability to do that. What we just showed you guys on the screen is what we're printing. We're printing out that, that little protective guard. There's lots of testing that goes into 3D printing to make sure that things are the appropriate size and the appropriate uh, feeling and make sure that they work properly within our designs. We got some cool green, lime green here. We use these for testing purposes. There's some, it's pretty good filament, but some of these colors that we don't sell as much, usually we use here because you know, they're not part of our main products. We're gonna use filament that we don't need as much in this area. So this is the almighty 3D printing farm. You're gonna see the most exciting part of our business right here. This is where all of our parts get printed and let's get into it. This is where we got 80 Prusa printers. So far, the most reliable printer that we've been using. So these are great machines and they have the ability to make so many different things and that's why I love them. First things first, obviously these things use a crazy amount of filament. So when we're printing 24 seven, literally, we wanna have larger rolls here. So these are five kilogram PLA or PTG rolls. Having someone like Jacob we, could, we custom designed rollers for these five kilogram spools. Now they can easily simply roll on, on, the, on the top of the printer. It allows us to have situations where if we run into problems or let's say we have different size rolls, then we could adjust and adapt accordingly. Usually we run the printers at a little bit of a slower speed just because there's so many of them uh, running at the same time. We designed a custom little rack here that's gonna hold the most essential tools that we're using on a daily basis to repair and maintain these machines. On this side, we got a whole selection of filament. So we got some of the Prusa filament here. I really like this stuff, it's the Galaxy Black. This stuff is amazing, it prints perfectly well. Of course, they make it for their own printers. As well as some inventory management things, we have the location and a QR code uh, for that printer so then when the guys remove or take some of this filament, they could actually remove it from inventory, which is pretty cool with just the scan of a QR code. We also got more filament here as well, just in like huge boxes. These are some of the five kilogram filament rolls that we have uh, uh, going on. We got these new mounts that just came in. They're the PS5 metal wall mounts. They came out really, really nice. The only problem is they weren't able to do a logo. So you're gonna see in the other shop, we're actually stamping the logos on ourselves with like a, I don't know, we figured out some sort of solution there with a, with a stamp. So this section is reserved for the Prusa Minis, something that we, we had a trial with them. We got eight of them. I, I think we're gonna stick with the original Prusa, not the Minis. They're good printers, don't get me wrong when they're working but they do have some issues. They're not as consistent. I kind of like the self-contained unit. It's, it's a lot better. So when the guys remove the prints off the printers, uh, they usually bring it over here in the post-processing area, or what they'll do is they'll actually put it directly in some of these bins, right? So these bins are labeled depending on the product part, and that gets unloaded on the other side and inventory gets placed in the right, in the right spot. Often what they're doing here is just repairing some, some printers sometimes, cleaning off prints, making sure that they're coming off properly if there's any issues. They usually have a heat gun here, which they heat the, uh, 
some of the parts up to make sure there's no strings and whatnot on it. We always have a guy walking in here to make sure that all the printers are running properly because oftentimes you're gonna see they fail. They fail all the time and that's a huge problem with 3D printers. So they always need to be checked on. That being said, we always have someone walking through the aisles here and, and making sure that everything's running properly as it should be. Okay, we're walking into my workstation over here. You probably know this space this is where we take most of our videos right now. This, this is the kind of like the lifestyle station where we try and showcase most of our products. You can see that the PS5 is hanging nicely on the wall over here. Uh, as you saw in the, in the Glisco steel mounting video, if you haven't seen that, go check it out. Um, this desk right here is all beat up because we, we put the so many stealth mounts underneath here to make sure we're testing it and everything's all good. So I want to go check out the shop here. This is the fulfillment warehouse. It's a lot more quiet in here and this is where all the stuff gets packaged and some of it gets processed and it gets sent out to your door. Here we see a, a bunch of Glisco steel mounts ready to be sent out. They just got labeled with the logo like I was talking about and um, they're ready to be packaged and sent to you. We got a nice little studio set up here. So all the pictures get done here. Uh, some of the videos, if we want to have a nice white background. Um, I put up these like little rollers up there. So if we want to change the, uh, the paper backdrop, we could easily just kind of pull these little pulleys on the right here, these chains, and it'll bring up the, uh, the background or, or drop down the new background that we want to use. So that's pretty cool. Lots of these PS5 mounts because we literally just got them in. Like I said, in the other shop, we weren't able to get it um, um, stamped by the manufacturer. So we're doing it ourselves. So we kind of came up with this cool little solution. This is what 3D printing is amazing for, you know, that we have the stamp lined up every time perfectly on all the different mounts. So it's really cool. And I, and I think this is what, this is what 3D printing is really about, you know, being able to kind of uh, use the technology to, to help what we're doing uh, in our shop and just make things more efficient, which is, which is huge for us. Lots of different parts bins here. Some of the Magnisoc screws, and we just label how much we're actually putting in the bag. So it's nice and easy for the guys when they're packaging. We got Mark over here, he's barcoding some stuff. He's just making sure that the products are going out to the proper fulfillment centers. He's filling up all these boxes here. So wrapping around here, this area right here is the Magni stock station. Uh, we have Alex over here. He's just drilling some magnets in and he's, and he's putting in the TPU inserts in the cups. The raw parts come into these bins at first. Alex kind of processes these parts and makes sure that it has the right material, the magnet. And again, here's another example of a 3D printed tool that we use to separate the magnets because they're so strong and it's difficult to actually, you know, separate these things. Up here, everything's in a line of the way it needs to go in the package. So if this is the first item, the second item, the third item, the fourth item, the fifth item, right? So they have all the right items that's gonna go in the box. So I found this the most efficient way of doing it. And we even have like a little uh, chart up here to make sure that they know what they're putting in there. So it's good. Thanks for watching the video guys. I appreciate you showing up. I hope you liked our facility. Um, it's taken us a long time to, to build this up, to do lots of things here. If you like 3D printing, please leave a thumbs up. It really helps us. If you wanna see more videos like this, comment down below. Uh, again, I appreciate you watching. I'm gonna check you guys next time.